I'm very excited to show the progress of this thing we've been working on. I've gone from kind of dreading putting these things together to getting kind of addicted to it. Last night I started this video and I was just gonna show you the couple that I had done. And then before you knew it, I'd done every single Lupin Ranger versus Potter Ranger and a couple other things and I'm still going. Anyway, hey guys. So we finished this thing. This is a 3D modeled cockpit seat from Lupin Ranger versus Potter Ranger. Mia modeled this in the computer and then we printed it on our new 3D printer. This is our first version anyway, still kind of working on it. And I'm gonna paint this one. And then Mia's gonna try to print this another way and see if we can make it look better. But anyway, how exciting is that? Let's take a look at the mini plot for a minute. one really great thing that you can do with this that you can't do with the DX version. Ready? Eh? Eh? It's pretty good, right? All right, for those of you guys that don't have this, why is that significant? All right, ready? Can't do it. Possible. I, for the life of me, don't understand this. This is how they connect. Am I missing something? I, I don't think I am. I'm not kidding. There's, there's nothing here, nothing here. It's just right here. This folds up like that. And there's like nothing that it even, there, no, there's something, I'm missing something. Hold on, no. One of you guys will correct me if I miss something, I'm sure. You just clip this to the inside like that. Is that crazy? I mean, that seems crazy just for this, but then this is part of the formation. This just pegs in, which you can't do it. You can't do it. I don't understand that. I actually don't have a problem with the, the visual look of this formation. I, I happen to like it, but that's what happened here exactly. One more time. Can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. I don't get it. What happened here, Bandai? Haven't you been doing this for over 40 years now? What happened? What, what is, what is that? It probably goes without saying that these guys take up a lot less space. Let's see a quick size comparison. get sideways. My biggest complaint about these, uh, the stickers, some of them you put them on and they're never coming back off. And then others, they don't want to stick. Hey, get back here. Like that, you could just move with your finger and it'll slide. Like these uh, stickers on the wings, those are, 
think those are on there forever. Those are not coming back off. Hey, get back here. If only there could be somewhere just kind of in the middle, right? Like this articulation, this quality, mm, maybe somewhere in between size wise, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think about size? I, I kind of like big stupid things, but then the main reason I like having smaller versions is because, well, at least Bandai America used to put out villains. Hopefully Hasbro will put out lots of good bad guys as well. And those would be more to scale with these. So if, like personally, I wanted to do an animation or something, you know, then I've got another figure that's kind of the right size. Whereas something this size, he doesn't get anybody to fight unless you want the thing to be like that big next to him. Maybe you do, I don't know. But I like being able to have Megazords and villains in the same scale. However you make it work, but right now it's these and the five inch, or if there were a legacy, let's, let's actually, let me get a Marvel Legends figure, be right back. All right, how about this thing, whatever this thing is called. Anyone know what this thing's name is? I don't know. All right, anyway. Oh, is that perfect? This thing is fantastic. <laughs> Right? Anybody with me on that? I just, I want some bad guys that can fight a Megazord. That, that seems like such a crazy idea, but, or is it just me? Am I alone in that? Eh? No? What do you guys think? Well, I want bad guys that are to scale with the Megazord. So right now, this is how you do it. And if you know what this thing's name is, let me know in the comments, because <laughs> I asked for it. I can't be mad. I, I don't know why I do it. I really like these figures too. I'm not gonna say I love them. Uh, I would rather they were fully painted, but uh, they're, they're I, I would give them a pretty high score, but the stickers, you know, like the entire visor is a sticker. So if something happened to your sticker, then the visor is just, the visor and the mouthpiece, It's that's a sticker. So like the, the helmet is almost entirely one solid color. Don't lose or ruin your sticker. Uh, this side, they're a pretty good size. They're not crazy muscular. Uh, actually, I'll show you what one of them looks. Okay, here, this is what they look like before you put stickers on them. And it does take a little while to put the stickers on. If you want to cheat it, I find this is one good method. You just have to slap them with the sticker thing a bunch of times. Here, let's do it now. Am I getting it? Oh, got it. Okay, there. It's all on the wrist. So that's what he looks like with the stickers on. Initially, I was going to spray paint him. I really like to use an airbrush. My airbrush is uh, not very happy at the moment, so someday I'll have to replace it. But for now, just put the stickers on. SH Figuarts Tommy, oh, they're both Tommy. SH Figuarts Tommy, five inch red action hero, Tommy. These guys are actually pretty close to being the same size as the five inch action heroes, but you know, they're just so skinny that they don't really look right next to each other. A five inch, they're still taller either way, but only by a little bit. And over here, Tommy can be taking some kids out for trick or treating. Also, another really wonderful thing about all these guys, take your SH figure art stands. Well, you can take them as they are and open the little thingy. Mia made the stands on the printer. It'll hold them like that. But this is what I think is, here I can take her off. This is what I think is even cooler. You can take this piece off so you just have the peg and all these figures, have a little uh, thingy so you can peg them. Yeah, is that great? Not just the figures, the Megazords too. I'm really sorry about this. I'm not the one that put the peg there. Okay. So if you wanted to have them flying or just in some cool action pose or you know, however you want to display them, these SH figure art stands are fantastic for this. Yes, that goes for all of them. They all have a peg. This is what these things look like. They come in these little Cardboard boxes and they all have a little piece of candy. I have lots of candy now. You can buy these at Asian supermarkets, on eBay, on Amazon. Most stores that you're already buying your Super Sentai toys from probably have these as well. All right, it is much later than I thought. I'm gonna wrap up. We've been working on a video that's actually a follow-up to our previous video, the Green Ninja Storm Ranger video. So we're doing another Hurricane Your Ninja Storm video. Hopefully that'll be our next video. We're doing some set building and effects for that one. So it's running long. So here's this video, so we're not 
disappearing for another, another week or two. But all right, so hopefully next couple days we'll have that up. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more cool old stuff. I've got all this great stuff. Some of the stuff has never been on YouTube before. Some of the stuff you guys might have forgotten about. Some of the stuff you guys may never have even ever seen before, which has been the case with a couple of our previous recent videos. Hopefully, if you've been missing videos, you'll check out some of our recent posts. Let me see that there is a demand for all the really cool old stuff, because like I said, there's a lot of really great stuff that I'd like to do on the channel, but got to see a little bit more of a demand for it. So please check out recent videos. Okay, this video took a really long time. Now it's almost ready to go up on YouTube and it's Christmas Eve. So thought I'd come back and just say, Merry Christmas Eve. Hope you guys get good stuff. If you get something really awesome, you can come back and let me know in the comments, especially if it's Power Ranger related. And now back to the previously recorded good night. All right, please subscribe. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you're seeing the video. I'll answer the trivia from the previous video in the next video because it's the follow-up video. You guys know what I'm saying. All right, thank you guys for watching and good night.